All right, so in this problem, we're asked to subtract two fractions from one another. Now, 16 over 40 and 7 over 30, they don't have the same common denominator. And so what we'll try to do first is, is we'll simplify both of the fractions into their most simplest form and see how we can further manipulate. Now, 7 over 30, we know that we can't manipulate further because 7 is a prime number and it doesn't divide equally into 30. So we'll start with 16 over 40. We'll divide 16 over 40 by a number that we know is divisible evenly by 16 and 40. Now we can try 4, we can try 8, and I think 8 is our better guess because 16 divided by 8 is 2, and 40 divided by 8 is 5, and 2 fifths is our simplest version of 16 over 40. Now we have to subtract 16, uh, 2 fifths by 7 over 30, but they still don't have a common denominator. But we do know that 5, if we list out its common multiples, if we list out its multiples, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So we know that 30 can be a common denominator for both of the fractions. Now let's do further manipulation, and we'll turn 2 fifths into have a common denominator of 30. To get, from 30, to get from 5 to 30, we multiplied by 6, meaning that we will multiply 2 by 6 as well. So now we have 12 over 30 minus 7 over 30, and now it's just simple subtraction. We'll do 12 minus 7, which is 5, divided by our common denominator of 30, and this fraction is still not quite in its, in its most simple form. We do still have to divide the numerator and denominator by 5 because we know that 5 is divisible by 5 and by 30, and we will get 1 over 6. So 1 6 is our final and most simplified answer.